Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Sun Jil Yun from Chungnam National University in Korea. Today, my talk is for flexibility and stretchability of a highly conductive large area graphene uh, grown, on, grown at 100 degrees C. So, out of my talk of transfer free large scale high quality graphene. Uh, grown on bo TI buffer layer below 100 degrees using PHCVD. Second is a giant domain size of a monorail graphene grown at 100 degrees C. Uh, finally, uh, I describe the unprecedented flexibility and the stretchability of monorail graphene on titanium buffer the PDMS substrate. So, I, as I uh, describe for the titanium buffer layer so of thicknesses of one, uh, 10 nanometer, so in this case, uh, titanium is very uh, easily oxidized uh, at air ambient. Uh, this is uh, expressed data for uh, titanium oxidation, so data, and this, this is a uh, uh, high stability in hydrogen atmosphere for four hour annealing at different temperatures. So we use a, a different substrate. So in the case of a silicon substrate, in the case of titanium buffer layer, uh, so the uh, high stability so compared with the copper and nickel uh, cation material. But in this case, uh, we wanted to uh, grow the graphene onto titanium buffer layer. So first of all, uh, I wanted to describe the uh, transfer-free graphene onto the uh, titanium buffer layer. In that case, we uh, check the transmittance and the shoot resistance of the uh, titanium buffer layer with the different thickness. In this case, uh, for transmittance, so uh, at uh, with the 10 nanometer thickness of titanium buffer layer shows a, a similar uh, transmittance and the shoot resistance uh, below 10 nanometer thickness. But uh, with the increase of the titanium buffer layer thickness, the transmittance and the shoot resistance are different from the substrate. So from that data, so even though we uh, use a, a titanium buffer layer, so below the 10 nanometer thickness. Okay, so we don't need a, a transfer of the graphene. Okay, so in the case when we grow the uh, graphene on the titanium buffer layer, so I discuss for the uh, titanium oxide uh, buffer layer case. Uh, this is just a simulation data. Uh, as you can see, the on titanium pure titanium buffer layer, so binding energy very high. Compared with the titanium dioxide buffer layer, so uh, carbon uh, binding of the titanium lacid is a uh, binding energy is very low. Uh, from this data, we expect that the graphene is not grow onto the titanium oxidation. So we should uh, prevent the titanium oxidation for uh, graphene growth. So we we successfully grow the graphene onto the titanium buffer layer. We uh, fabricate the one system, so titanium buffer layer by a DC spotter. After that, we grow the uh, graphene onto titanium buffer layer by the plasma osseous summer CVD. So in this case, so graphene is very very uh, uh, damaged by uh, plasma because of that. So our substrate is apart from the uh, plasma ambient. We uh, check the 10 centimeter uh, apart from the plasma atmosphere. So uh, first of all, I want to uh, discuss for the uh, mechanism of the graphene growth on the titanium buffer layer. So this one is RNS plot of the uh, graphene growth rate and uh, reverse temperature. So from that data, we uh, check the activation energy of the 0.28 electron volt. 
uh, this is a uh, very low. That means this is not uh, sensitive for the temperature variation. So uh, we uh, discuss for the two different mechanisms. One is a mass transfer control mechanism. Second one is a surface friction control mechanism. So uh, activation is, is very low. That means so graphene growth mechanism is controlled by a mass transfer. Okay, that means so when we supply for the enough for methane gas, so graphene growth is a very uh, rapidly grows. From that uh, mechanism, so we uh, increase the working pressure. That means so too much uh, methane gas supply into the system. So this is a 1.5 to 1.8 tor. So we obtain the uh, no defect and only monorail. So from that uh, concept, so we uh, can obtain a large area of graphene growth and very high quality of the graphene. So we so I want to know how do we decrease the uh, gross temperature of the graphene on the titanium buffer layer. So this is a 150 degrees to 80 degrees. So we can obtain the uh, no defect and only monorail graphene and the high quality graphene by uh, our Laman analysis. So uh, we uh, obtain the uh, high quality by uh, uh, TM analysis and the uh, Laman mapping image uh, with uh, a 4 inch wafer scale of the graphene. And the very important thing is to uh, grow the high quality graphene so the very low uh, heat resistance from uh, 78 to 83 ohm per scale. Uh, generally, we reported data for transfer of graphene uh, reveals a high uh, heat resistance of uh, about uh, 400 or 500 ohm per scale. But our uh, transfer free graphene shows a very low uh, heat resistance. And then we want to know the how much uh, domain size of our uh, transfer graphene. Uh, this is a, a, a polarized, polarized uh, optical microscope image of liquid crystal coated graphene for identification of the domain size. So uh, our uh, uh, graphene so reveals uh, almost 380 micrometer. This is a very, very uh, giant uh, domain size. So uh, from that result, we can uh, make a uh, LPT uh, devices like that. Uh, from that data, we can uh, make a transfer curve so drain current versus gate voltage. So in this case, we uh, obtain a, a higher on current and a low off current. So we can uh, distinguish the a single crystal FET and the polycrystal FET. That means, so our uh, graphene domain size is large. Because of that, we can make a, a inside a domain inside the domain can be applied for the single crystal. And then uh, domain boundary across the FET means a polycrystal FET. So from that data, we can distinguish the single crystal FET and the polycrystal FET. So in the case of a single crystal FET, we can obtain a high hole mobility of about uh, 40,000. This is a very high uh, so, uh, hole mobility. Uh, this is uh, a domain size of graphene onto the uh, titanium buffer, the PDMS of flexible and the stretchable substrate. In that case, average domain size is about 266 micrometer. This is a very high uh, domain size. Okay. So uh, from the uh, previous result, uh, we can uh, describe the uh, flexibility. 
So this is our, our reported data for transport wrapping. In the case, in the case of the tensile uh, strain case, is a very uh, rapidly increase of the uh, resistance. But our uh, no transport graphene uh, shows a very high uh, flexibility. So we can uh, describe more experimental results. This is a, a single graphene and two layer graphene and three layer graphene. That means we uh, grow the multi layer graphene in in situ. So graphene, titanium, graphene, titanium, like that. So you can see that. So with the increase in the uh, multi-layer, so uh, flexibility is increased like that. But we uh, grow the graphene on top patch surface. In the case, almost 5% uh, tensile strain. So in the case, so uh, so tensile cycle is a very uh, stable uh, flexibility like that. But uh, PT substrate is very important to uh, influence the uh, graphene flexibility like that. So when we are uh, bending at the high strain, uh, tensile strain, so uh, PET substrate is not recoverable like that. So this one is influence on the uh, graphene of flexibility. So this is a, a PDMS pattern substrate. This is also like that, the strength recovery state will decrease like that. But PDMS substrate is not bent on the tensile strain like that. So this is a, a PDMS pattern substrate. Uh, this is a only PDMS substrate. So we obtain the high flexibility of the uh, monolayer graphene onto the PDM substrate. This is a 15% strain. It's a very high uh, stability like that. So next one is uh, uh, stretchability of uh, uh, transport and the directly grown graphene on the PDM substrate. So uh, blue one is uh, reported graphene in nature. This is a very low uh, stretchability. So in our case, the uh, standard of the uh, resistance value, normalized resistance value is 10. So in that case, report graphene is very low stretchability, but our graphene, so no transport graphene is black. This is a, a high stretchability like that. So uh, we want to uh, clearly and describe the uh, origin of monolayer graphene. So trans monolayer transport graphene stretchability. So this one is a, a measurement system like that. So we make a, a low a distance and why this is very low. So, so micrometer scale. So this one is a parallel means uh, this way, stretchability and stretchable and uh, measurement is the same direction. This is a parallel. So perpendicular means this side is a, a stretchable and this side is a measurement. So uh, in the case of a stretchable case, so parallel uh, is more uh, tough, top data. So you can see that the 60% uh, strain is below the 10 of the federal case, and the 70% is a little bit 10 above that. So we can uh, estimate the, uh, some uh, stability of the stretchability using the uh, LED, so for elimination. In this case, with increasing the strain, and then elimination is slightly decreased. And then uh, at 90% strain, after that, that, that is a completely recover here. And then, so uh, we can uh, describe the origin for high stretchability of our transport graphene. One is a grain size effect. The second is interfacial layer effect is here. So uh, domain size increasing and uh, uh, breaking strength is increased. And this data is already uh, 
published in Science Journal. So in our case, we have a large domain size. Because of that, uh, we can make a, a high stretchability. But that is not important to uh, describe the high stretchability in our graphene. So uh, second effect is interfacial ray effect. That means, so in our case, graphene grows onto titanium, pure titanium buffer layer. After that, at the air ambient, so uh, titanium is oxidized like that. And then graphene and the interfacial layer is TIOC. So our graphene uh, form the interfacial layer. Uh, because of that, so graphene is uh, effectively stretched out. So uh, our graphene uh, have a high stretchability because of the uh, TIOC interfacial layer. So uh, we uh, describe the uh, uh, graphene FET, mobility and stretchability. So our graphene uh, FET uh, fabricated by the uh, PDMS substrate. So bottom gate is graphene and active layer is graphene. Source drain is a, a graphene uh, electrode. So all of electron, all of uh, structure uh, include the graphene structure. In this case, we calculate the whole mobility is almost 20,000 centimeters square per, per second. This is a very high mobility. So from that structure, we can uh, study further uh, parallel and perpendicular stretchability at uh, 140 uh, strength percent here. From that data, we can obtain a high stretchability at 140% parallel strain. This is a very stable. OK, I will conclude on my tour. So we obtained a, a transfer-free large-scale high quality graphene at 100 degrees C onto the titan buffer layer. So we obtained the giant domain size of the uh, graphene and high flexibility and high stretchability. So we obtained the graphene FPT, uh, present a superb stretchability under 140% parallel strain. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.